Hey there, traders. Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we are going to focus in on Apple today. Apple has had an amazing run. We've actually just broken through the old 2015 highs. Apple's in record territory, currently valued at about $700 billion. And fundamental analysts are saying this could be the first stock that reaches the trillion dollar valuation. The catalyst for that could be the release of the iPhone 8. So we want to pay attention here at the stock with the stock at new all time highs. So here we go back to 2015, give you a little context for the current situation and the trade that we're going to put on. So you can see that Apple did a triple top way back here in 2015. That high was at about $135. So if we extend that high across, you can see very quickly we have broken through. Now, in the world of technical analysis, what should have acted as resistance, which fails, will then flip to act as support. So this is going to be our launch pad for the next move up. So we have a very tight defined um, trade setup here um, over a setup that's really gone as far back as 2015. So what I mean by that is let's zoom in here a little bit. Remember, the $135 mark is now our newly formed floor. So the stock should not penetrate back through there. And that is going to be the lower end. That's going to become the risk on the trade where we'll lean against. If we get back below, I want to get out of this trade and protect our outstanding premium that we lay out in the trade. Otherwise, we should be able to move up into the 140s, possibly even the 150s in Apple. So let's head over to the options chain here. I have a call debit spread queued up. What that means is we're going to go out to the April monthly options. I'm going to buy an, a slightly out of the money call, a $140 call, pair that up with a sale of the 145, which becomes effectively your upside take profit or your target. Altogether, we're going to pay about $1.30 or $130 per option spread we're trading. That's all you can lose on this trade. That's your max risk. And that's represented with the PL graph down here. And you can see that purple figure right here at 130 will show you even if the stock drops all the way back to 120 bucks, that's all you lose. Break even on this trade will be just at about $141.20. Max profit will be our short strike, which is 145, which yields a profit of $370. So traders, we're going to risk 130 to make 370 with Apple at new all time highs in the stock market, uh, providing some wind to our back. So let's go ahead and put this trade to work. Now, a traditional stop loss rule we use with these debit spreads is if half of the premium that we lay out just now, which is $1.30, so half of that is 65 cents, if that option premium gets down to 65 cents, we're probably wrong in the trade and it's best to get out, protect what premium we have left and simply move on to the next trade. Otherwise, we're going to be looking for Apple to get up to $145. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that Apple trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on Twitter for updates to this Apple trade as well as all the other positions our traders are working and we will see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.